Oh, yeah. Hey. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Phil and Dave's Excellent Adventures. Phil is back. Yeah, so is Dave. Yeah. And today we're talking about the movie Breaking. Um, Phil, can you tell them a little bit about the movie? What it's the about? Movie, the movie was good. There was like actually some parts were actually were actually kind of weird, but I thought the movie was interesting. Um, for all these movie go for all these movie goers, I hope they uh can watch this watch this movie. Um, I can't remember who the actor was again. But he he was really good. Yes, that was John Boyega, and this is a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the movie and you are concerned about spoilers, I suggest you go and watch the movie first because we will be talking about spoilers in this. But yeah, John Boyega, he was the main actor. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry, I didn't mean to, I do that, that. I was almost to right. tell you. Ahead, um, what was your part of the movie like? Yeah. Well, so yeah, basically the movie is about, it's based on a true story. It's about a guy who um, holds up a bank with a bomb uh, because he is owed money from the VA. Uh, so yeah, we talk about what we liked about it first. Do you want to talk about your likes or should I talk about mine first? Uh, we talk about yours and then we talk about mine after when you're done. Sounds good. All right. So what I liked about it is that I thought the cast overall was really good. Uh, John Boyega in the lead role is Brian. Uh, Michael K. Williams was in here as Eli, the hostage negotiator. Um, this was, I think, his last movie. He actually passed away. Um, we had uh, Nicole Bahari was in here as Estelle. She was one of my favorite characters, and uh, it, it, based on a, a real person, so I thought she was really interesting. Um, there's Selness Levia was Rosa in here. I liked her as well. Uh, London Covington was Kia, the little girl, his daughter. I thought she was really good. Uh, Olivia Washington was his ex-wife. Connie Britton and Jeffrey Donovan were in here as well. All of them. I think all performances were all really good. I really liked the story. Um, I like the humor. There were some funny parts in here, like when the woman called and she wanted to talk to a banker, and he's like, well, let me get a message. And he's like, here, you're going to want to give this to her, you know. And she called back, and he's like, I'm robbing the bank right now. I'm the robber. Don't call back. Like, that, that was funny. That was good stuff. He was uh, a little intense, but... He was a little it seemed. Actually, uh, all that stuff that you said, actually, is the stuff that I was going to I was, I was say myself, too. Yeah, good, good. Does that remind you of anything else? Any other um, parts? Well, I did not know that, uh, what, what was his name, um, who played in uh, Burn Notice. Oh, yeah, Jeffrey Donovan. Yeah, he was in here. As and, the, and, he, and, you know, it was weird because I did not know he would be in it. Yeah, and he's not in it much. He's just, like, kind of just talking on the phone and just like, hey, yep, all right, that's what we're going to do. Because in yeah. Burn Notice, she had that feisty woman. The feisty woman in that one, uh, I forgot what her name is. Yeah, Fiona. She, so, yeah. yeah, um, so back to the movie, I, uh, all of it was good. Some, and, and like I said, the uh, when he blew up at those, like when he was like those outrages, like he was like, he said, I'm doing. Like, he was talking to the negotiator, and he's like, I'm going to bound this place down, or something like that. And it's so like, what? Yeah. It's, he's like, does it look like I'm being serious this time? I am serious. And then the newscast one was like, and this was the part that I didn't get, because he wanted to uh, let them, uh, Review them, him, yeah. About like saying, about like saying, like I'm the one with the bomb in the bag. I have some, I have something in my hand that I did. Uh, it must have been like a down, a generator or something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had the thing with the lights on it. it yeah, like and that was the part that I didn't get, but it was kind of, it was good. I mean, like, give us, like, bits and, like, bits and pieces of it, like, like, how he let the, the military discharge and stuff like that. Yeah. And maybe he was under a lot of stress because of, like, like, the flashbacks that he has, that he had with yeah. his, like, her daughter and her wife. Um... I thought that was a little interesting. I okay. mean, 
it was, I thought that part was okay, but for him, maybe not. Yeah. But um, I thought it was really good. And that's and, all I can, that's all I know. I agree. Yeah. So other than that, I thought uh, the subject matter, the, the story itself was really interesting and sort of the way that they approached it. The fact that it's based on a true story was interesting. I like the way it was directed. A lot of the shots and the cinematography I think was really good. I like that they sort of waited to reveal how much the amount was. I assumed it wouldn't be much and it wasn't. It was 800 something dollars, less than $900, um, which is a small amount. But to him, of course, it was important. Um, and then even at the end of the movie, they, they, it says the family still hasn't received the money. That he right. Um, so, yeah, I liked all of that. Uh, uh, and then uh, anything else you liked about it? To be honest, Dave, no. But it was really good. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, let's talk about what we disliked. There were a couple things I disliked about it. Okay. Um, I thought it, it got a little slow in the middle there. Uh, you know. I was going to say that, too. It was pretty good. It was building up. We finally got the hostage negotiator. I was excited to see Michael K. Williams, and then they kind of cut to a flashback of him with his daughter, which was fun. Was... Like him, and his daughter, but like mm -hmm. it's kind of like there was the, it was building up momentum, and then it slowed down a little bit. Um, and then at some point, he kind of says some crazy stuff, like his brother hired somebody to kill him, uh, and he had been kidnapped a couple times. And so uh, I assumed that that was just kind of paranoid delusions or something, but. Maybe mm -hmm. wasn't true. They don't really explain whether, you know, there was any sort of truth or any reason that he would think that um, or if his brother did sort of have any ill will toward him. I assume he didn't, but they didn't really explain that. Um, and his injury is never specified. He talks to him and Michael K. Williams says he got shot. Uh, he doesn't say how he was injured, but he, he was on disability. So we know that. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to step. I was going to stop you. I was going to stop you like, about his brother and stuff like that. Yeah. How about like why did he kidnap him? Why did he do stuff like this? I mean, it seems to me that he had to be like the best brother of him, but mm -hmm. in his heart that he didn't think that maybe he was like crazy that he did all that stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. it seems to me that some parts were not his fault. I mean, because he had family and her daughter and her wife. Yeah. But like, why would like her brother set him up and actually like get all that money from that place well and his, his wife and his ex-wife had mentioned him whether or not he was taking his medication he was like no don't make it about that so like i assume he has some sort of mental health issues and so i, I i'm guessing that was just made up but they didn't really explain that very well and i guess you don't want to focus on that too much but yeah if they actually made another another movie with breaking in it if breaking part two yeah. and actually see what happens yeah. with with all that I can I would definitely watch it yeah um just to see what what happened like how he got shot I mean yeah. that was interesting and like where was the body because there was a lot of blood there and no one knew where he, and no one knew if he got like no one knew if he did set in the brain. No one knew if he did set in the stomach or chest or anything. I yeah. mean, like, really? Yeah, you know, they, they sort of didn't show it, or they kind of showed it. I think they were maybe doing that. But at least, but at least you know? show the body. Yeah, yeah. They sort of showed the blood trail, and they showed part of the body. But, yeah, they didn't really show him actually get shot. I, th I think they sort of did that for artistic reasons, but I... You know, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, and, anything else you, you didn't like about it? And there was one thing I wanted to say. Um, when the uh, young African-American walks into that bank at the end of the movie. Okay. Um, I think it was, uh, was it Michael K. Williams or was it someone else? Can't remember who it was. He was a young, he was a young detective guy. With the guy with the beard? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was Michael K. Williams, yeah. I remember when he walks into the bank and he looks at the trail of blood, but the part that I didn't know that he didn't actually see the body. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was sort of a, an interesting way that they chose to do that, where he just, I think he kind of just knew what happened because he, he, so he heard mm -hmm. the shot, and so he was like... You know, like he, he was just upset. And so, yeah, they just kind of had him standing out there. 
Again, it was, it was kind of an artistic thing. I, I didn't mind it, but it was, yeah, I don't know if it's the same choice I would have made. I think he was probably upset because maybe, like, uh, his ex-wife and her daughter didn't know that he was dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. But I thought that was pretty, I thought the movie was pretty cool. Yeah. I agree. I thought it was good. Uh, other than it was directed by a woman named Abby Damaris Corbin. Um, I don't even know who that shorts. is. Yeah, she did. Uh, I don't even know who she is. Yeah, I mean, I had never heard of her either, but I thought it was good. She did a thing in a James Franklin yeah. called Actors Anonymous. It was written by her and a guy named Kwame Kwe Arma, uh, who's done some writing, but he's also known for acting. He was on Wait, a British show called um, Who was that? Looked it up to see who it was. Uh, who, who was the person you said again? Oh, uh, the, the, the guy was Kwame Kwe Arma. No, who is that? Uh, that's uh, the guy who wrote it. Okay, okay. Which it's also based on a true story, which was based on an uh, article that somebody wrote called "They Didn't Have to Shoot Him." And so once I read that, I knew he was going to get shot at the end. So it kind of gave it away a little bit, but that's it kind of did. Yeah. Um, can you give it a, a score out of ten? Um, I wanted to ask you. Uh, I wanted to uh, ask you. Ask you, what do you think the score would be for you? Okay. And then, I'll, then I'll tell you what mine is. Yeah. For me, I would give it an 8 out of 10. I really liked it. I thought it was a really good movie. It was really well done. Uh, I, I liked the way it was explained and the way it was shot. But maybe it was a, a little slow in the middle there. And uh, I didn't necessarily love the uh, the, the nonlinear stuff. Although I liked the way they parsed it out. It mm -hmm. could have been a little bit better. And so, you, said, you said 8 out of 10. And then we have to say a 7 out of 10. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it was good. I mean, there's just like parts of the movie like were like interesting. Yeah. But I enjoyed it with you. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was good seeing it. So if you saw the yeah. movie, let us know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great night and we'll see you here next week. Good. My name is Philip. My name is Dave. And we nailed it.